Everyone's life starts off with a blank slate. And as we get older, we move into different stages. Stage one. When we are born, we are helpless and dependent on others for our basic needs. We begin to command these needs in stage one of development. During this stage, we learn whether the environment we live in can be trusted or not. When I am hungry, I cry. Will my parents feed me? I am sad. Will my parents comfort me? My diaper is wet. Will my parents change me? When these basic needs are met, we begin to slowly develop a sense of trust in others, which results for advancement to the next stage. Stage two. At this stage, we no longer are dependent because we want to do things without the hindrance of others. We begin to say no to find out who we are. We begin to walk, explore, jump, scream, climb, run, and even learn how to pee. At this stage, we are learning how to be independent and do things on our own. When the caregivers demand and disapprove of the independence we are reaching, the results end with shame and doubt. Stage three. During preschool years, we begin to ask why. Why is this and why is that? And we are willing to learn what is being taught to us. We begin to explore as much as we can and ask questions when we can't find the right answers. We begin to find purpose to know who we are and where do we stand. We begin to declare power and control over our environment. We like to play and imagine as much as we possibly can. When our parents support our ideas and efforts, we begin to de develop initiative rather than guilt. Stage four. Elementary school years hit us right away. We begin to aim high for that A. Our academics can be hard to cope. We try to do everything in our power to get recognized by teachers, parents, and even our peers. At this stage, we begin to work before play so that we can achieve our goals for that day. If we ever get punished for our efforts, we start to develop feelings of failure. Stage five. As we make the transition from childhood to adulthood, we begin to feel lost or puzzled in searching for our identity. Things get rough. One day you are on the basketball team and the next day you decided to join the science club instead. In this stage, we begin to experience and find out more about what we like or dislike. We do our best to fit into society. Stage six. This is the time when we start looking for that special someone. If we don't find that special someone, we begin to feel a sense of isolation, feeling not whole or completed within our life. On the other hand, if we find that special someone, we, we will be able to give and receive intimacy and feeling complete within our life. Stage seven. This is a time after we start settling down with that special someone and we feel like we should make something of ourselves and give back to society. If we have not done anything with our lives, we begin to feel a sense of stagnation that we have done enough with our life. Stage eight. This is the last hurrah for us. This is the moment where we reflect on what we have accomplished or not. Did we live it to the fullest? Or do we let it pass us by? Were we actually participants? Or just there for the ride? At this point, there's no time to turn back. So you better hope you have enjoyed your time and that life was one hell of a ride. These eight stages are what we go through in our life. But we are the ones that put the puzzle together and complete it. Let's hope all the pieces fit.